peer review, Moosehead. I've reviewed it before, and uh, it had a really high remarks, high rating. I've drank this. If it's it's not overly priced. Um, it is one of the oldest breweries, independent breweries in the, in the world. This was started in 1867 in Canada, Canadian brew, with the moose. <laughs> in like 1980s, this was big. It was, it was priced high or priced like a higher price than the average beer. Then they brought the price down and it faded away. I don't think it is as big in the United States as it used to be, but when I was in high school, people drank this. It's always a little different. People always thought that it had more alcohol in it, but this is 5% alcohol. So back in the day, they used to drink uh, Old Milwaukee or PBR or Schaefer. Remember that beer. But I always liked it. I always enjoyed it. It has a little more taste than your average pill lager. It has a lot of malts, I remember. A little more darker than your average lager. Yeah, you can smell that grassy, bready. Not not much adjunct. It's it smells like more of a minty smell to it. Smells lots better than American adjunct lager like Miller products or uh, uh, what's one call it a. Uh, Uh, like black star, like um, cr uh, like a uh, malt liquor. Sorry about that. I just <laughs> lost my track of mind. Yeah, malt liquor. It's lots better smell. It gets a good smell to it. Again, cheers, Moosehead. It has high carb carbonation, mouthfeel is medium. It has a lot of malt, and this tastes good. It, it has malt, sweetness, and bitterness. And it's very, the flavor complements each other, the, both the flavors, the malts and the, the grassy, kind of flowery hops. It has a lingering, hoppy, bitter finish. Better, more bitterness than your average American lager. No adjunct. Very, very refreshing, and um, I don't know, you couldn't go wrong with this. If I had a beer that I can drink every day, this would be one of them. It'd be my top five. But carbonation is good. Like I said, the mouthfeel is not watered down like the mouthfeel, like uh, light beer, Miller Light, Bud Light, Ice, but. Um, Natural ice light. Yeah. Yeah, this would be a highly rated again. Again, the price is not bad. Nine ninety nine the twelve pack sometimes. We used to get it for seven ninety nine. For nine ninety nine, seven ninety nine, it's an excellent choice. Um, people would enjoy this. Most average person would enjoy this. I'm a light beer drinker, you're stepping up a little more because this has a lot more taste than your average light beer. I give it another A. Overall, excellent, excellent beer. 95. Moosehead. Like in 1980, that still tastes the same. People said they get skunk, but it's not a skunky beer. I never had a skunk beer from a green bottle like from Moosehead. So if you had Musa, let me know. I give it an A for the second time around. It hasn't changed too much. Just a good, solid, consistent beer made by an independent brewer that's been around since 1867. So hopefully they won't sell it to a big brewery and water it down. And uh, let me know, Musa, Canadian beer, Canadian. Um, comments, questions, if you had Musa, subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye.